everyone so you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Asi darling thank you guys so much for joining once again to all my ogs welcome back and if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing balance join the darlings on this channel i talk about all things nigerian wedding planning business and lifestyle vlogs like the one today i'm going to be reacting to a series of videos that my my close friends on youtube here posted lily pop did a video um a daisy space did a video then uche wednesday all these videos are kind of tied together to the reaction i'm going to be doing today my name is asitonka agri abba and channel is called Asi darling because i'm such a darling <laughs> If you don't know Lily Pop TV, I'm going to leave the link to her channel down below. She did a video about the things that she think um, she did that caused her to be barring, quote unquote. Um, I also watched almost back to back. They uploaded a video at Daisy Space. I'm also going to link her her channel down below. I and Daisy had collaborated on um, a series of videos that I also link um, concerning infertility and the journey. And on Daisy's video, she did a Q and A where people were asking questions and all of that. Uche also did a video, Uche Nweze, she did a video where she said, you know, her, that was a very emotional video, her son was asking, would I be an only child, you know, all these things kind of stem to the kind of reaction I'm going to be having on this um, particular video. So let's start with the one Adese had put up. So she did a Q&A, Adese is expecting and good news, you know, everybody's so happy posting up and the part of that Q&A that got me was people were asking questions of, how do you feel about having another girl? Ades is about to have like three beautiful daughters, and somebody is thinking like, "How do you?" I don't get it. Seriously, I you know Ades is really calm and really nice, and me at the other end, I'm fuming. Uh, the first comment I can put is, "Please just send me the person. Let me go and fight because I don't get why people think it's okay to drop some kind of comments." Let me explain this to you. It backtrack. Adese had done a couple of videos explaining the, her journey, her TTC journey, how she waited and all of that. If you've come out through that kind of journey, that journey is not something that you even wish on your worst enemy because it will test you. When you come out of that space and God begins to bless you, you have kids, not just one. Adese has three. Like It's almost like when I saw it, I was so elated and then people are dropping um, comments and you know this this whole pressure we should stop it i know personally it's from ladies we should stop it children are not accessories do you get you look at somebody and go like now you have two girls you're owing us a boy owing you what excuse me even the one that has two boys is owing you girl uh, no children are like one kind of accessory they'll be like no it's two boys two girls so that the picture will be fine for instagram or i don't understand what exactly we are doing because it's not making sense it's hurting people you see a lady like uche uche was saying like that sometimes there's pressure how would maybe she's dressing well uche was there when she did her video and she's looking good and going up and someone is looking at her and saying she doesn't want to be pregnant again because she wants to just be fine i don't understand I don't understand you like why would a lady make that kind of comments i'm just see because for some reason they find a way to avoid me because i'm not well i'm not i'm not well i've not done my pregnancy journey video i know if I, at this point i'm sure people have have decided to say you know what any any day you bring that video <laughs> but the truth is nobody in my family has dared to ask you mm, mm, like you will see me at my canal fear is even catching my friends everybody's just looking at me because open your mouth please just just please open your mouth and ask like you're oblivious to the fact when they were marketing me left right and center you're not happy for the one that is on the ground then you now start making snide comments that oh um, i just want to look good i don't want to spoil my body children are not accessories we should stop it you get because Adese might not have felt like okay, people different because she mentioned it that a lot of people have been asking, Why are you like what do you want her to feel? She should feel sad. I am sad. I was expecting a boy, and now a girl. I don't understand. I don't she even did a video and said that she wasn't expecting to even be pregnant. This is God's bless, and then somebody's now please oh let me now react to um, Lily's own. 
because Lily on her video, like she spoke about some points. I've done the two videos I did with her days. I'm going to also link it because on that video, we're talking about T the T our own TTC journey, part one and two. The videos are long because we went in depth. So when Lily did her video, I personally want to render an apology because I did my own TTC journey. And one of the points where people do not really take serious is that secondary infertility is real. When I was on my TTC journey, when I see people with secondary infertility, I'm like, sis, you have one. Allow God that at least give every other person one one before he start asking for second one. It's somehow. Do you understand? Like, honestly, I'm going to say it from the bottom of my heart, of my heart because these are my two close friends, Lily and um, Uche Mweze, and seeing them go through this journey, it now becomes so real because back then it's like, please, I beg everybody, let God give us one, one, one before we'll be hearing, you know? And those with secondary infertility, women that have plenty of children don't see them as fertile enough. Then the ones that don't have, don't see them as infertile because you have one. Do you get so? They are kind of left in the middle. They can't say they are TTC because after all, God has given you one. And if you go and meet these women, they'll be like, ah, ah, I'm a mom of four. I'm a mom of seven. I'm a mom of 42. And then you're just saying you have only one child. And it almost seems like just one. In fact, people just go like just one. <laughs> they can't just one meal because <laughs> it's well. Let me just continue. Maybe it's just the people I've surrounded myself with and the fact that you can't even you can't even god is helping god is helping us please so um when linda was talking she linda mentioned the first thing first mistake that women make which is um high expectation most of the people that suffer deep secondary infertility had it very easy the first time i'm going to try to add um maybe i joined some videos because i did a, um a couple of videos with a specialist a fertility specialist i did not post all i just found it because it got lost in my memory card and all of that so i'm going to add those videos like for the next um the next video so that people can get to learn the first one she said very high expectations and that's very true why because most times as we, those of us that didn't get it like that we do not have that kind of high expectation so sometimes even when unexplained fertility is treated what is common amongst unexplained primary infertility is that they have unexpected pregnancies because they don't have expectation do you understand but for those that have secondary infertility most times it's like you know what since it just happened in fact it happened wedding night and then they're like cool sometimes they want to take bed control pills and all of that and it shakes their hormone system and it becomes imbalanced for a very long time there are many things that can cause it so high expectation has a way of hindering that you know and you start feeling bad please note it is very important to just trust god that is the only thing just trust god okay so the second one she was talking the second one she was talking about was pressure pressure is very common and Uche was also in the comments was like you know what this is the part where she has to really calm down and i have to say it for sure pressure it is is in fact it's worse because there are lots of women that have driven themselves to having high bp the moment you have high bp you're on drugs for life even when that baby comes the baby has a way of making you will now become a a special case your pregnancy becomes a special case so try as much as possible to not drive your blood pressure up try as much as possible. if there's any other way that you know you can be happy do those things stop crying stop um checking calendars ovulation testing and all of that stop just stop i on one hand i can say it because ovulation kit and all those things me i'm a, I'm an extremist one year six months we went straight we didn't go to obgyn we went straight to fertility specialist a lot of people have different financial distance but i believe that it is better not go to gynecologist alone go to a fertility specialist somebody that is the person went to school for this particular one not just a general doctor do you understand those ones that will be giving you treating infection treating bacteria that is not there and all those things no that way your pressure is reduced because if you know the exact cause it helps you also the third point she talked about um, negative thoughts which is very important guard your heart out of it comes all the issues of life so you have to keep speaking positive if you want more kids you have to just keep speaking positive keep believing and let it go there are many things in this earth eh? there are many things god has done there are many things like why uche's video was so emotional for me was like she was saying she is like she's expecting so much she doesn't think like she 
she's taking care of her child so I, I i just broke down i'm like sometimes that's what it is with us and life god gives us so many things and we end up chasing we are chasing something new we are chasing more money we are chasing more this more that and there's never an end to it so live in the moment live in the now all good things will come that word keeps coming back to me all good things will come for sure her fourth point was hospital ignorance which is like most people do not go to the hospital like i said it's not about just going to the hospital go to a specialist i beg you carry your husband and go to most times men do not like to go in fact go and check those videos because the doctor broke every single thing down i have a whole fertility um playlist go for because it's 50 percent men like it's almost the same male and female so no matter what you drink as a lady if the if your husband is the cause you're wasting your time you're, you're seriously wasting your time go to a specialist go to a, a lot of people had sent me dms and all like we, the specialist i used was in lagos but they're specialists here in port harcourt go to them ask them all the questions you have in your stomach ask everything so that you're guided properly because the kind of money that ttc journey makes you spend nobody's talking about that one in fact we don't even calculate so that our, our mind will not spoil more the kind of money you spend huh that one is you know makes the child like a golden child that's why a lot of people say you know when the kids finally come eh, it's like it's like designer baby a child that is so expensive <laughs> you just be like see nobody should even try every other person just got their own once but you see this is my child we went we paid we did this we did that you know that's how the child came so try as much as possible go to hospitals do all your tests please pointer let me just help you people first because me i'm a child of god god has sent me to help you guys those of you going for hsg this is the word of the lord to you hey hey and see take pain relief before you start that test though. take diclofenac somebody had written that if you take diclofenac 30 minutes before you enter you know diclofenac you have to take it like anal hmm. take it 30 minutes before you enter it will help reduce the pain. I didn't take any painkiller. I am here to tell you that HSG, will, HSG is worse than labor. Ha. Let's just keep moving on because we are set, we are the ones looking for something. Okay, so whatever the test, hospital, um, hospital ignorance. That's Lily's fourth point. Her fifth point was being secretive, and this is where I share a different view. Yes, you can be secretive. Oh, when I was doing my TTC journey, like I said in one of those videos, the people that I was even more open with were strangers. We were all strangers on a platform. We were not using our real names. And people were sharing tips. Go on Naira Land. Go on the internet. There are many forums with people going through the exact same thing you're going through. They will tell you the hospital. They will tell you the doctor's name. They will tell you the one that is not working. They will tell you the one that is working. Go to Naira Land. There are forums that have more than 100 and something people pages dating back to 2012 where people were doing different tests whether it's the ttc test go and check it you can also ask people around if you ask me i will tell you all the tests i had to go through there are many tests that are even not necessary but we do it because we are looking for something so even if you go to the hospital and you have to do ivf a lot of people say ivf is painful ivf is this the only thing ivf is is expensive pain you are looking for a child so that you can go through labor <laughs> labor that people used to do labor for seven days i mean three days you already know that labor is painful but you're looking for a child so if the doctor says go through ivf there is nothing there if you know that telling your friend who make her discourage you it's okay don't tell her if you know that telling a bestie or telling a family member will make them discourage you, don't tell them. Go through that journey on your own. Meet people that will tell you the truth. That's why I said meet the doctor. Tell the doctor, look at my age. Look at my body. Look at my system. Look at this and look at that. And tell me without, this is not, yeah, I get the place of faith and the place of holding on to the promises of God. But we have to be realistic. We have to be realistic. You cannot see. And then that's, this is why it, it boils me so much. You see the kind of pressure and pain that women go through, that families go through. And then somebody out of the blue, we open their seats and say, eh, how do you feel? 
giving birth to your third girl. May God help you. May God help you because I don't know, you know, people will say, hey, I see, maybe the person did not mean it like that. After all, Adesa is the one that said Q and A, ask me anything. If I say ask you anything, will you ask me my, my ATM pin? How far now? Like, you can't even ask other funny, funny things, but now asking her, like, okay, so what do you want her to feel? I mean, let me not be pushing you because people will not say, as it's not you, they ask, why is the thing peppering you like this? Please, oh, let's be guided because going through this journey, if God is to get, there are people that are begging for, what are you saying, girl or boy? You think we are, we are going to select? Hey, God, if you, if you're on any of those forums, you will cry. That is where people can pour their hearts. People are just looking for positive pregnancy tests. Not even the pregnancy. Some people just want to carry the pregnancy. Whether they miscarry or not, let people shall see that the stomach came out. Some people want to just give birth, even if the baby should die a day later. So that people will not laugh at There are women that are... Then you think it's gender. That is a woman's problem. Gender. Hey. I just feel eh, I don't know the kind of society... And it is not it is not exclusive to men. It is mainly the women. It is mainly the women. Bring a son so that you know your your husband's uh, lineage. Your husband's uh, the lineage that people are protecting. What is the lineage? Who knows you now? Most of the people that are shouting lineage, lineage. Dan Gote that is having the the lineage that has to be protected does not have son. Baba is not there breaking your head. Eh? He does not have a son, no. Don't go tell that all of us were supposed to gather and give son. Since his son that is important to everybody's head now, we are, all of us are supposed to go and get a son and give the man now. She, he has an inheritance. She, he has... What is our own? What is that special? The truth is when you die, that's all. That's all. Leave name. <laughs> Leave name. Let me tell you one secret. Eh? In this, my petroleum engineering that I was doing, I came across um, some men they're top in big oil firms. I won't call the names. Two, I think two, three brothers, different oil firms. They changed their father's name. Yes. They changed their father's name to a name that will favor them. Ha! <laughs> the father has died and gone, who is looking at your, which inheritance did you keep? Do you know that if you answer, maybe Obasanjo, some doors will open, whether or not you just say you are the third cousin of Obasanjo. Maybe somebody Obasanjo has helped will not pick you. People are changing their name in this Nigeria. You are now using a, a peer pressure to make a woman feel less because she has... Do you know what girls are? I don't even want to talk. My mom had three girls. Because I even saw my mom. My mom was so agitated that time. Hey, boy, yo. Hey, boy, yo. Like, it, get, it got to a point. I'm like, are we not even children? What is worrying this woman? I'm growing up. Like, even, you know, for my son. I didn't tell anybody my son's gender. Till I was 33 weeks. I knew my son's gender at 15 weeks. I did not tell my husband. I did not tell my mother. I did not tell anybody till 33. It's nothing superstitious. I just said not to tell anybody. I, in fact, I was when I did my last major operation, because they had to take me after every operation. The moment I, I become conscious, they have to take me for scan to be sure the baby is still alive. And then they checked, and the doctor was like, hmm, this baby is strong. In fact, let me check. Wow, I think it's a boy. 15 weeks. That's when I knew. So I did not tell them. In fact, my mother was like, ah, she that has only girls, girls, maybe it's girl. So when I told them, like, eh, and for me at that point, I'm like, you know, God, thank you. Because the truth is, <laughs> what would I have said? It's not gender. Can we stop it? Can we, can we just, can we stop it? Can we stop it? Seriously, if you're a woman and you're TTC, my heart goes out to you. One thing I'm going to advise you, you go and watch Lily's video, watch Uche's video, stop the calculation. It's okay. Don't put pressure on yourself. Oh. Me, I did not do, I did not calculate, I did not calculate Sheng Bai. <laughs> Nothing. I went straight to the professional, straight, straight to, in fact, I had told my husband to pay him, I will do, I think I will take out time to do my pregnancy video. I told him to pay. Oh, I think our consultancy was 40,000, maybe 20,000 or thereabout. I said, pay him. I have never seen him before. I said, I saw him on the internet. They said he's a good doctor. My husband was going to Abu Dhabi. I said, stop in, Le in Lagos. 
go to Lekki, find this doctor and tell him I'm coming. That's it. Because a stranger on the forums, you know those forums I was talking about? I was like, can I find a good, who is the best fertility doctor in Nigeria? That was the question I asked. And the people were dropping different names and different names. And my name resonated with this doctor. And I went there. That's all. So most times I know that it can be so, so painful, you know, side comments, you know, stress from in-laws if you're not married, like to a family that is understanding, stress from yourself. In-laws self cannot pressure you, the pressure that is. That's why it annoys me when in-laws pressure somebody because the kind of pressure the woman is feeling on her own is nobody can top that pressure. So for outsiders to not be looking, hmm. As he entered, don't even, until you see her about to push the child. In fact, until the child comes out, don't ask. Don't, can we just respect ourselves? There are women that have fibroid. That's why their stomach is big. Has he entered? It's not the question you should ask. I'm going to tell you because maybe that woman is trying her best. She's just smiling and she's crying in the room. I'm not, I'm going to tell you straight. Do not ask. If it has entered, she will tell you. It's not about first to spread the news or first to say congratulations. Sometimes it's rude. If, if somebody has not told you that they are pregnant, leave it. Because sometimes they go through early miscarriage and they have to announce to all of you that saw that they were pregnant, that the baby is no longer... No, please, can we just stop? Do you understand? Unless they tell you, just let it go. Please. For the sake of, you know, when it comes to fertility and the female body and everything, it is such a sensitive topic. If you're an expectant mother, let me just give you the word from God. The only thing you don't know is when. But if God will do it, it's yes. You don't know when. I have a lot of friends. Some six years, they gave birth this year. Three years, they gave birth. You know, this year has been a fantastic year. This year has been a fantastic year for a lot of TTC women in my prayer chain because I pray for a lot of them. This year has been fantastic. There's one that it was, in fact, on ending malaria, she went and they told her three, she's already three months gone. She should start applying for antenata. Do you know the shock? What you don't know is when. There's no kind of insult she has not seen. She's, she has been married for six years. She said even when she was pregnant, she was still looking at her stomach like, what is happening here? Give, give birth to a bouncing baby boy. What we don't know is when. God is going to do it. It's not like if God is going to tell you that he's going to give you your child 2022, you're not going to be disturbing us, ma. You will not be disturbing pastor. You will go and probably do a business Start online course now. Learn sewing. You know, you'll be you'll be busy doing other things and wait for 2022. You prepare your body. In fact, you go and do jogging so that your body is in shape for when the baby will come, right? That's it. So what what we don't know is when. So what you're doing between now and when God finally does it is to just believe and take care of yourself. Because the pressure and all of that is not helping. The last thing you want is to complicate your medical issues. Because hormonal imbalance is one of the things we keep hearing. We hear it every day. Hormonal imbalance. In fact, hormone can never be balanced in this journey. There is no hormonal imbalance test I took that my hormone was balanced. Hormonal imbalance. Hormonal imbalance. You are thinking. Hormonal imbalance. Even when you are not thinking, you are thinking. Because everything can change your cycle. There are things that people say. Um, clomid. Folic acid. Um, pregnant care and the rest congrats to those that it works for <laughs> sis <laughs> you and i know those of us that it did not work for please come to the front of the church because yo if it's pregnant care we have grand packets now we have grand packets we need pregnant care shirts and umbrella we have grand packets it's not working well woman every every known thing to man if it's not working, it's not working. Go straight to the fertility doctor. Just go straight. Even before you finish the next carton of pregnant care, just go Just go first to the doctor. Do you understand? That's my, my best advice that I will give you. Please watch all the other videos accompanying this particular video. I've never done a reaction video like this. It, it just touched me. It just touched me because these three are three lovely YouTubers, wonderful ladies I've met 
I've met two of them, Lily. I'm supposed to meet Lily soon. So um, when I saw those their videos, I'm like, I have to react to this because this drives this like brings back a lot of memories please if you're going through infertility primary infertility or secondary infertility know that god is with you and your testimony is sure and me your girl acid darling thank you so much for watching and i'll see you my next video